Hey guys, it's Stephanie C. Harper, publisher of Career Magazine, and I just wanted to stop by and say hello. I know it's been a few days since I've done a video, a career tip, all of that good stuff that we normally do uh, on a daily basis with one another. But you know what? I have had the time of my life. I have done quite a bit of traveling um, from California to Atlanta, to Pensacola, Florida, to Mobile, Alabama, back to Atlanta, and I'm heading out tomorrow, uh, heading to Detroit. Oh, in Virginia. But I'm heading, uh, heading to Detroit tomorrow. And then I will be going back to California and then to Las Vegas. So by the time, what is today, the 28th of June, it will be um, about mid-July before I actually see my husband <laughs> and get to sleep in my bed. But it's all worth it sometimes. You know, sometimes we have to... Uh, take the good with the bad to make things happen. I wanted to share with you all about uh, the taping on Saturday of Career Magazine TV. It was absolutely fantabulous. I'm so thankful. I don't want to call any names right now because I don't have everything written down in front of me. Um, and I'm actually heading out to lunch. But um, I will do another video giving all of you who participated in that panel a humongous kudos. I couldn't have done it without you. We had a few snafus. We had our camera guy stand us up. We had all kinds of things go on. But you know what? When something is meant to be, it's just meant to be. We pulled out our uh, HD web cameras and another little Sony camera that I have. And the footage is fantastic. So, you know, never, ever, ever uh, leave everything to chance, but always be prepared. But one of the one one of the things that I wanted to say as it relates to the recording and how when things are supposed to happen, they just happen. We were going to record. We did two of the segments on Saturday. We did the recruiter's responsibility, and then we also did perceptions and decision makings, uh, perception and decision making in the employment process. And those were two fantastic segments. So I can't wait to get the footage to Dion, the director, so that he can um, put all of this together so that it's in a format for you all to view. But one thing that I did want to share, one of the, the, the third segment that we were going to do is called the Why Should I Hire You segment. And what we had done or what we had planned to do is actually interview job seekers on camera and give them feedback that they will never be able to get in an actual uh, interview setting. And we had three candidates and none of them showed up. Can you believe that? I was absolutely speechless, absolutely floored, could not believe. Did I just stop my recording? No, I didn't. Hold on a moment. There we go. <laughs> could not believe that they did not take advantage of this golden opportunity. Here's what the deal was. When we got all of the resumes for the people who said that they wanted to be a part of this segment, we went through and we found those job seekers that we felt needed the most help, um, be it the formatting in their resume, the content of their resume, some of the information that they put out in their cover letters, just things that we were like, oh no, the, the, you, this, you just don't do this. This is part of your problem. And what we were going to do in the segment is help them. Now, one of the ladies that I spoke to is a journalism major. Hello, I'm the publisher of a magazine. Why wouldn't you come out? I don't understand that at all. Now, in her email, she said that she had to decline because she thought that a job seeker meant an intern. Hmm. Okay, come out, do the interview, meet the publisher, ask for an internship. <laughs> okay, maybe that's how I think, but clearly she didn't think that way. The other part of it is we had another um, HR representative who is looking for interns come out, meet the HR uh, professional, 
ask for the intern. Here's what's going on. You have some of the top people in the industry together in a room. If for no other reason, just come out and network with them. They didn't do it. I, 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 I don't even know how to put into words. I, I don't even know where to begin with this because if you have an opportunity to meet with people who have means, connections, and resources to help you reach your goals, what could be more important? I don't understand. And then the other two job candidates that we had spoken with several times, corresponded with, and emailed with several times, they just didn't show up. No call, no show, no re no response, no email that says, hey, my dog ate my tire wheel or my car keys, nothing. Now here's what's going to happen. I'm never going to forget. I'm never going to forget. And it's not about retaliation or anything like that. But the point is, I'm never going to forget. One of the candidates emailed me and said, keep me in mind for future projects. I will not. I will not. You have shown me um, already that you're not dependable, that um, your communication skills are not very good, etc., etc. But uh, I will not. I will not keep you in mind, nor will I refer you or anything else. But here's the thing. The secret to all of that is we did have employers who said, send us those candidates. When you're done grooming them, send them to us. This was a total missed opportunity for those job seekers who just didn't show up. So I want to leave you by saying when the spotlight is on you, show up. You had a, a perfect opportunity to come before those of us who make hiring decisions every day. And if we don't have a job available, this is our industry. We know people who do, but it didn't show up. If you're not there, we can't help you. So uh, seven minutes and 23 seconds into my, my tyrant and my rate, my rant, and it's 8.33, I have a 12 o'clock, or actually I'm, my clock is on California time. It's 11.33. And I have a 12 o'clock meeting on the other side of town. So I've got to go. But I'll be back. And we'll talk again soon. Talk to you later. Bye now.